feels like a dream. I'm, uh, I think I skied and did the things that I wanted to today, but to see the number so high up the ladder was really relieving, I think, but also so exciting. I mean, I'm, I'm at home, my whole family's here. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, I'm just trying to continue building and create something cool this year. And do you find that you know, this year, you know, you faced so much hardship and you had such a strong support, you know, the community has gotten, uh, you know, behind you. Do you think that that's made a change in the way that you're raising? Yeah, I was just saying in another interview that um, I should be probably freezing up, but I'm um, trying to stay really relaxed and kind of overcompensate for the magnitude of this journey. And I realize that it is something that's a little bigger than me. And, I'm just trying to stick to the task at hand and take each day by day. Anybody else have questions? Uh, for a lot of us who are rooting for you to sort of get to the Olympics, do you think that this sort of sends a message that, yeah, you know, up on Canada should be supporting you? <laughs> it's, for me, I'm pretty neutral about that sort of, that side of it. Um, the message I would maybe love to send is that uh, you can have a whole lot of curveballs, but um, if you really believe in yourself and surround yourself by, with people that believe in you, then <laughs> the sky's the limit, I think. And what's your actually goal going into tomorrow? Um, I don't know, I'll have to rethink that. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're, we're, my coach and I are just looking for a really solid building weekend. I mean, yeah, I'm at home. Yes, my family's here. Yes, we're trying to qualify for the Olympics. Like, the order is tall. But um, if I keep working on the things that I know are making my times fast, then we will continue on this good path. And that's all I can ask. I mean, you know, look at, you know, one girl who got disqualified. I'm not sure the whole story, but there's lots that's out of our control. So all we have to do as racers is do our boots up and put the helmet on and ski as well as we know how to. Are you surprising yourself at this point? I was in Beaver Creek, but now <laughs> I feel like you should no. like, so comfortable with it, but I'm, I think more, more than anything my emotion is gratitude. Like I'm so happy that what I'm doing is working. Because it's not always like that and I've had placed times in my career that I did everything I could and it didn't work, you know, or with my injury, I, it's out of your hands, you know, and you can do everything you can, but now to have everything kind of coming together pleasantly is a little bit surprising, but more just um, relieving. I have a question for you. What do you make of people's eagerness to uh, play out your story as you being spurred by I'm kind of indifferent. I mean, I understand where a lot of people's comments. I mean, sometimes there's something said on Facebook and then the thread is just overwhelming. But um, for me, that's the part that I try to keep really simple. I mean, I under, like I said, I understand why people are um, talking about the story and what it, I maybe can, people can relate with um, certain parts of it. But that is kind of for other people to... Um, draw conclusions from. I maybe it will help organizations be more patient with athletes, but I can't say that for sure. I mean, I didn't perform very well last year, and um, maybe the business decision was uh, complicated. But um, for me, I'm really just looking ahead, and everything is presented itself in more of an opportunity than an obstacle at this point. So I'm really happy.